Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And with this episode, we're getting closer to the end of season six for power with episode 13 title, It's All Your Fault. Now, first off, I really did like this episode much more than the previous two, than the one with Dre, than the one with Paz, or I'm sorry, Paz, even if that's the correct pronunciation, because I saw a lot of you guys were annoyed last time uh, in the comment section. But I mean, yeah, each episode does get better and better uh, because I couldn't stand Dre. I really never cared for Paz. And, um, you know, while I'm glad that Dre met his demise, I was really impressed with the acting from Pa's last episode. Uh, but I'm even more impressed with this episode as well. And we only have two more episodes left. And if you saw the the uh, preview, the trailer for next week's episode, episode 14, says two episodes left and four suspects. And I have a good idea. I haven't completely narrowed it down to who I think uh, kill ghost and his ghost still there. You probably like B. What do you mean? He died in Tommy's arms at the very end of the episode. How can you say he's not dead? I, I will. <laughs> I, I, I will. Um, I, I would definitely, definitely, definitely uh, get to that because they could be uh, pa uh, pulling a fast one on us or whatever. But now this was a good episode, and I don't, I don't know if it was just because of the performances. I mean. A couple of episodes ago when I was doing my recaps, I was just saying to myself, I mean, there's just really no characters that are redeemable at this point in time. Like, I don't like anybody. You know, this really sucks. There's always some type of character that you're supposed to root for that you want to make it to the end, but everybody's just despicable. But I kind of feel a different way about Tommy now, even though there's been some decisions he's, he's made, you know, throughout the season, throughout the series, which I think is detestable. Um, you know, he kind of did come through and uh, I, I somewhat respect his character. And so does Elisa Marie, which is fascinating because she knows or she's very confident that, you know, he's the one that killed her father. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's not like, oh, I want revenge or anything like that. So if this is your first time finding me, guys, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, me responding to entertainment news or doing television vision recaps like power and other shows and much more but just go ahead and getting into the episode i didn't even think about how tommy got rid of benny's body um and that, that you know that that you know that that was kind of quick they you know they did that at the very beginning he drugged the body in you know it was blood everywhere and i was like, okay you got the body the body right there go go outside and get that bleach and mop up real quick and then take care of it and he did i forgot that he had all that ambulance emergency equipment and he took care of that you know what i'm saying just spick and span you know get rid of the body i was like okay we moving on to the next but with Tommy, man, you got to know, like, there's just three lessons that you can learn from this episode. You know, don't do drugs or be in the drug game because you're either going to end up in jail or dead. Um, it's just there's no way really out of that game. Also, uh, don't make assumptions because Tommy and other characters as well have made a lot of assumptions, made a lot of assumptions about about BG, who is dead. He thought he was a snitch, made a ton of assumptions about Ghost. And then you know, we find out at the end of this episode, he tried to go save him. But, you know, he may or may not have been too late. And also, just don't come for Tommy, man. Tommy, you don't come for Tommy. You know, Benny tried to come for Tommy. You know, he got stabbed, you know. And then uh, Vincent tried to come with Tommy. And he took out five or six of them. I was like, my goodness gracious, Tommy is ruthless, you know. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, fight or flight, you know. I mean, they came for him. He was like, no, nah, I'm not finna go out there. Go out like that. I got stuff to do. Ran the car forward, ran the car back, got out the car, guns blazing, and beat the hell out of Vincent karate chopping with the butt of the gun to his face over and over again. He hit him like 15, 16 times. Maybe that not that many, but I was like, and then he still shot him at the end. I was like, okay, you know, he still could probably be alive, but he's like, no, finish your move. Bow in the face. Well, I don't want to say that. Well, it probably was in the face. Now, somebody that he probably should have shot in the face, but I'm kind of glad that he didn't was Tasha. Let's talk about that real quick because when uh was it blanca uh when blanca came and approached uh i'm gonna say dre not dre when blanca came and approached tommy outside the club when he was going in, in there to go see ghost to hate on them you know the cop came gave him the evidence of lakeisha's uh that was at lakeisha's house and he saw the bracelet so he approached tasha like oh wait a minute you know what i'm saying you've been at the crib I know uh, you, she didn't let y'all, I mean, you didn't let her borrow this. Y'all been beefing. I know she didn't accept it. 
all that, you know, jazz, all that drama. You the one that killed it. And she was like, hey, you know, just let me know. Did you do it alone? And all these characters be acting all hard throughout the series. Like, yeah, I'm this. Yeah, I'm that. But when they have a gun to their face, oh, God. Oh, God. The eyes are bucking and everything. Please, tell me, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just, she she was begging for a life, you know. And um, she kind of had the proof right there. She's like, let's look at the paper. Look at the paper. You know, uh, Lakeisha was about to snitch. She was about to leave you all she did and care about cash time was like man boy shit you're not finna escape out of this you know but i guess he looked at the paper and he felt sorry for her and you know i like she turned her head like you know she like she's scared you know just I, I i mean i don't know i've never had a gun pointed to my face before so i mean i'm not trying to just sit here and stunt like i'm just mr tough guy or whatever and i'm just gonna be like shoot me cuz shoot me you know like <laughs> i'm just being honest uh but she was like well at least it's, if it's if it's gonna go like this god damn it I don't think she said, God damn it, but God damn it, at least it's from you or whatever. Now, like I said, like, pierced his soul or touched his heart or something like that. And she turned her back. And, you know, he ended up walking out on her. He probably should have shot her in the leg or the foot or the ankle. You know, I was like, man, you know, shoot her in the kneecap or something. You know what I'm saying? Don't just let her off scot free, you know, uh, because, I mean, Lakeisha, not Lakeisha, but Tasha and Tommy were tight. And what's kind of, I was going to say, you know, she should have called uh, Tommy before, you know, he shot, she shot Lakeisha, but, you know, that's just not practical. You know, they were fighting for the gun. You know, Lakeisha's down there. She breathing heavy. And, I mean, I'm still disappointed that she killed her. Uh, I mean, I wish she kind of would have knocked her out and tied her up or something, um, you know, and then talked to Tommy. But, you know, th then again, I, I, I was so disappointed in that episode. But, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But. The acting in this episode was phenomenal as well. Um, and, you know, I saw the act, not the act, I just said the acting, the editing, the editing too, because, I mean, we're going back in the past and this episode throughout the whole thing was just overlapping with so much more. I mean, we got an extended confrontation of the shootout between Ghost uh, well, Ghost and Tommy versus the other two guys who they thought was Italian. Uh, we also got uh, a recap of when two, not two, yeah, two big from prison called Tommy in the car initially when we saw that clip we did not know that Miss little Elisa Marie was in the car and so I was like oh snap I like how they're doing this this is double whatever but they may have messed up with the continuity there because in this it's, it seemed like Tubi had a fresh cut in prison and I don't I was like I, I don't know as soon as I saw it, okay damn dude got a fresh fade and just something I noticed I don't think he had a fresh I don't feel like going back and looking at the previous episode I may be wrong or y'all can let me know in the comments but the way the we're going back in the timeline and, you know, getting extended scenes. I like that. We also, uh, we know, we got the uh, extended scene of when um, Tommy is at his crib with his mom and Elisa Marie. And then Paz comes and knocks on the door. I was like, oh, snap. I like how they're revealing this. Because early on, I was, in the previous, well, in the past episode, episode 12, when Paz came busting in, like, Tommy, Tommy. You know, Tommy, he, he was a little frantic. Just like, it seemed like he was in a rush. Like, okay, yeah, get out of here. You know, I, I mean, of course, anybody, I mean, anybody would react that way. If somebody just come knocking on the door like, hey, I need you to kill somebody. You know, get the fuck on. What are you doing? No, I don't, I don't want no part of this. You come on, I got a microphone on you and all that. But it was because he had his mom back there and Elisa Marie and she listening or whatever, talk, you know, tying the pieces together that Ghost and, um, and uh, Jamie is the same person. So I, w I was really feeling that or whatever. So like the editing is really, really coming through. But uh, a character that I really did like in this is one of the main characters besides Tommy is Elise Marie. Um, you know, she she's, you know, cool little child actor or whatever. She did her thing in this um, or whatever. I'm, I'm usually not just the biggest fan of child actors. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know why they, sometimes they just seem like they're forcing it with their performance, but I think she did a, a pretty, uh, farewell job, you know, with her, um, with her aunt, aunt Dolores or whatever, you know, aunt, I, you know, aunt Dolores is cool too, you know, not wanting to just break the little girl's heart, but eventually in the episode, she was just like, look, man, it is what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to tell you what the deal is. And, and I like the text. Uh, I like the system they have as far as text is concerned. When she said uh, text every hour on the hour to for proof of life, you know, um, that was dope. Now, something that didn't make sense to me as far as when he kidnapped Elisa Marie and he was like, hey, let's do the trade. You give me the recordings. I'll give you Elisa Marie back. Dude, how do you know? I mean, just just not that. But just in general, right, when it comes, they can make a hundred copies 
on a hundred different little uh, uh, jump drives or flash drives and you know and and have it in all different locations they can give you three copies or whatever and still have you know a ton over here so there's just really no proof that you know your your the slate is wiped clean or whatever so you know that's interesting there but I do like the fact that uh, he did drop off Lisa Marie back when he realized he was like okay I have bigger fish to fry right now I can possibly deal with this later you know when he was trying to uh, go say uh ghost or whatever uh but you know earlier on in the episode tommy was just talking about moving to la and then you know we find out that's why his apartment was empty uh from the last episode when pause came to go blast his face off um you know because she found out that um that tommy uh killed uh, her sister uh angela angela valdez or whatever and so it looks like tommy got off scot-free um, I mean, we only have two episodes left. Uh, he may pop up again in the uh, in the new series that's coming out. That's going to be tied to this. Uh, I forgot. I think it's like Power Two's books. I don't. I can't remember that. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Or he could come back and save the day. You know. Uh, you know. Who knows? But you know, he was talking about going to L.A. with his mom. His mom is still kind of evil. She's like, she really thinks that he's the one that executed Ghost, and she chose him and was like, get the f out. And he's like, dang, mom. I mean, you know, you don't want to just ruin a relationship with your mom. But at the same time, she just wasn't. You know, no good in the first place. Really, no characters in this movie is good. In the in this movie, in this series is good. But also, man, um, I was feeling. Sp I, I I mean, I like spanking too big, man. But spank, you know, he's he snitched up a little bit, and then you know he got his face blown. Not, well, not he got his eye blown now. You know that was crazy. He he looked like he 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 was cool or whatever. His swag, his demeanor was cool this whole series. But when he tried to deliberate with Tommy, like, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, before he got shot, I was like, man, you are so obvious or whatever. Like, you know, come on, man. What, you know, uh, what what is really going on? Now, let's talk about Tariq for a second, because I do like the fact that he was taking up for Tommy. You know, when uh, Elise Marie and Aunt Dolores had him at Denny's IHOP or whatever diner that was that they was eating the breakfast breakfast. Um, you know, with the recording, he would, he know, the dude can act in real life, you know, and y'all you, know what I'm trying to say, act between the actors in the show, you know, uh, you know, acting like he's not giving on their true persona of who he is. You know, he he's just trying to be smart, like, oh, well, I don't know who Tommy or Ghost is or da 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 da. How about I just take this to my, the recording to my parents and get them to look at it? And, you know, listen, Marie, she's young, you know, she's naive as expected. Oh, that's a great idea, you know? And she's like, the, the Lord's like, hey, no, um, not so fast. Okay, I think it was you. I think you know who Tommy is. And I think you planned this. So how did y'all know to leave the apartment? How did Tommy get in? Hmm, you're not smarter than me. He is not your friend. You know, I'm just like, okay. I like that we don't have stupid characters here. And they was able to put it together. But then again, Tariq kind of was getting on my nerve because towards the end, he's like, no, we got to kill ghosts. If Dre is going to go kill my dad, I'm not going to stop him. I'm like, bro, come on, man. You know, you, you're, you're too hard for yourself or whatever. Like, yeah, your daddy did some stuff, some messed up stuff. But at the same time, you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle to come to conclusions or whatever. You know, so, I mean, t t t you know, he need to get his ass whooped. He need to get punched in the chest, not shot in the chest, but just punched in the chest. Just a nice lean back Captain Falcon lean in, punched to the chest right there with the two knuckles right there. Knock the wind out of him. I would really appreciate that. But who killed Ghost or is Ghost dead? Let's talk about that real quick. So flashing forward um, to the next episode, there was like two episodes left for a suspect. So it's either Tariq, Tasha, Tate, or Sex. I don't think it's Sex. I don't think he's stupid enough to do that. I also don't think it was Tate because Tate is not about that life. Now, I'm pretty sure Tate would kill somebody if he had to, but you know, he's trying to, you know, um, you know, go, you know, live clean and I mean, he he does a little shady shit here and there. But I'm saying, you know, he's trying to, you know, uh run for council and all this or you know, you know what I'm trying to say, run for office. Um and he already hired Dre to do that. So, now it only leaves Tasha and uh, and Tariq now, I don't think Tasha would do it because she does not early on. I forgot who it was in the previous episode. She was like, no, I don't want you killing Ghost because even though I think he is a complete asshole and I don't like him, he is still the father of my uh, my uh, two remaining children. And I don't want to take that away from them. So that only leaves. Well, is it Tariq? Is, you know, I, it may be Tariq um, because, yeah, I think it's Tariq that killed Ghost because he probably didn't have faith in Tommy 
um, you know, that Tommy was going to go through with it or Dre, he wanted to make sure that it was himself. And also Tommy was delayed by Vincent in the street. So that's why he got there earlier. Also, as Ghost was dying, he was like, oh, no, let it, he, he, you know, like Tommy looked up and saw the shooter, I'm assuming, was like, you mother, and was about to blast him. And Tommy was just like, no, not Tommy, Ghost was just like, let it, let it go, let it go. You know, don't kill my son, you know, maybe wait till I'm dead, if he's dead. But, you know, <laughs> you know, wait, you know, he was like, don't, so I don't think Ghost just wants, yeah, of course, Ghost, even though he probably don't like his son, what well, doesn't like his son, I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, uh, he wants his son to die. And I, I think that Ghost was just like, okay, let it go. I don't want you to kill my son. And uh, Tommy was just so frustrated, like, man, you just shot and killed your father. We just talked about this. You went behind my back, going down the list of dumb shit that Tariq does. So I think it's Tariq or whatever. But we got two episodes left to find out. It was another uh, great episode. Um, you know, um, yeah, also, just real quick, this is not an important point. The two security guards that was uh, guarding uh, Lisa Marie's house, man, they were, those are the wackest security guards as well. How time they going to make a noise with the with the trash can? He just go over there, oh, what was that? And then not immediately look around the corner. That would have been the first place to look like, okay, somebody around the corner, you know, I would have peeled around. I, something. He just, you know, oh, got a gun in my back of my head. Just in the, going to uh, roll his eyes. Like, oh, you got me. Because you, you, you're a dumbass. That's why. Your, your, your security sucked or whatever. But... Anyway, um, that's the end of the episode. Tommy got the hell out of Dodge. He's going to L.A. Uh, he may come back. Um, also, like I, like I said, I think it's kind of cool that Elise Marie respects Tommy, even though she's very confident that he's the one to kill her dad, Proctor, and he got both of the the recordings and all that. And he stomped one and bit the other one. And then we got to listen to the nice melodies of Mr. Warren G., as the episode ended but another great episode guys the best episode yet they are getting better and better in the second half of season six so also i don't know man the ambulance was coming pretty close and i'm just thinking that maybe 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 that when the ambulance got there they was able to um you know revive ghost a little bit and then he decided to fake his death you know i don't know i could be wrong but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wait until the end of the season we're gonna see two episodes left four suspects I think that it is, um, I think that it is, uh, um, Tariq and to all the other YouTubers out there that are purposely posting spoilers on all over YouTube right now in the title and in the thumbnail of the video, you are an asshole. But guys, that is just my opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in for this power season six, the final season episode 13 titled, It Is Your Fault. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I'm growing, I'm crawling to that 20K. Help me with 20K in 2020. I would really appreciate that. You can look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box in the pinned comments. All you got to do is just click on the link and then click the follow button. And bam, you're helping your boy out. At least help me reach 1,000 followers on Instagram. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to always chase your dreams because I'm chasing mine. My name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.